I decided to actually split this two ways. I was going to combine them, but I got some time, so I'm going to do this one first. And this is for the D-Dave upload from about five days ago. This one's titled, Review Take USA says, Give John, Cock, John Hancock another chance. Well, his video starts out, and he's talking about some cereal. He's got some Pillsbury fillables, I think, cereal. And he says it's delicious, and he says it's got a lot of sugar in it. So not exactly the healthiest thing. Will I do a review of Pillsbury Fillables? We will see. Probably not. Not unless someone wants to humbly send it to my uh, P.O. box. Possibly, huh? You know, if I get it free, I'll review it. Isn't that how YouTube works, right? You get free shit and then you review it. You know, you don't have to pay for it. So there's one thing he talks about here. He references Pat the Nest Punk. And him, I don't know what Pat the Nest Punk said about D-Day. Maybe you can... You know, enlighten me on that. I, I don't know about that whole situation. But he started saying some nice things about Review Tech USA and how Review Tech USA defended him at that instance. Here's the thing, D Dave, Smash JT. It's fairly obvious that me and Review Tech USA have some disagreements on many things. All right, I'm very critical of Review Tech USA. That being said, like I said before, I think it was actually a good thing that Rich came out uh, talking about John Hancock. The, th the thing is, I have self-awareness here. I have a small channel, 5,000 subscribers. Rich is a much bigger channel, all right? When he says something, it carries a lot more weight. You understand that? So <laughs> is it better than any of my uploads talking about John Hancock? Hell no, it is not. All right, and that's no offense to Rich, but Rich, I've been doing this for a while here. Okay, um, so my 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 thoughts was and my expectations for that upload were kind of low, but for what it was, I think he did well. Now, what D Dave is talking about is the follow up though when he says that we should give John Hancock another chance. When I'm like. You know, I'm like, no, Rich, you had one fucking job. But uh, I already made my little rant about that. I'm going to focus on some things, and this is a reply to this video right here of yours, so I'm going to focus on some things that you talked about. You said that Rich felt uh, responsible for a lot of things that were going on with John Hancock because he's the one that came out with that upload. And you said maybe he felt bad, all right? Here's the thing, D-Dave, and you said you understand how he felt that way, but Rich, he shouldn't have felt bad. He should have felt good. He should have felt good for exposing John Hancock, all right? When you expose someone and some shady shit they're doing, that is a good thing, okay? So uh, he shouldn't have felt bad about that. And you felt like Rich saved the day. Again, <laughs> saving the day. It's weird. Okay, and I kind of struggle with this, obviously, because I'm highly critical of Rich. But sometimes you actually, what's the phrase? Give every dog it their day, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's the situation here. Maybe, honestly, Dave, D-Dave, maybe he just wanted something to talk about. I'm not sure. Maybe he didn't really have any skin, any skin in the game. Maybe he didn't really even care about it. So he's oftentimes, Rich has oftentimes uploaded stuff and honestly not even cared about the topic. But he just needed to fill time and he, he wasn't really invested in it. Okay, so make no mistake, Rich is not heavily invested in this whole situation. D-Dave talks about buying friendship, which is something that uh, does happen. If you're a YouTuber, and people start, you get, start getting bigger, and people start offering you things, offering you games, offering you money. You have to realize that many of these people, well, one is many of these people probably can't afford to give you games and money, but many of these people are actually offering you things to become your friends, your friend. Maybe they don't have a lot of friends in real life, and they want to become your friend. And the thing is, honestly, 
honestly, probably in many cases, it, the, whole, the whole buying for a chip thing is just one of the most disgusting things. And that's one of the reasons I don't take any Patreon money. I don't take anything from a lot of people in my comment section that have been here for years. Because sometimes people would actually offer you things. They would feel, well, you know, that Rick guy, I really like that Rick guy. Maybe if I send him like a game or something, he might become my special friend. I, I just don't like that. I just don't I just don't like that. That's why I don't do the memberships. That's why I don't do Patreon. That's one of the big reasons I don't do that. So you got a great point there, D. Dave. And uh, I'll finish off on part one. I don't even know if I call it part one. This is just a reply to this. I'll finish off with a bombshell that you dropped. A bombshell that you dropped. And this might be become overlooked in that video of yours. He blocked you. He shadow banned you, D. Dave. All right. And supposedly, if we're to believe, and Rich said, hey, I think he's learned his lesson. Okay. If we're to believe that John Hancock learned his lesson, then probably one of the first things he would do, well, he wouldn't probably do it in the first place. He wouldn't shadow ban D. Dave in the first place. But if he actually felt, felt uh, you know, bad about doing what he did, you would think the first thing he would do would be to unshadow ban, unblock you, and Smash JT, I don't know if, are, are you blocked on uh, John Hancock's channel too? I'm not sure. He would have unblocked you, unbanned you, because you said you left a comment basically just talking about the situation, and, uh, you know, you said it wasn't a hateful comment, you just left a comment talking about the situation, but he bans you. Oh yeah, and how could I forget this? John in that video, John in that video said, uh, you know, uh, Rich, the thing is, I mean, I understand you did what you had you, you had to do, but it would have been nice if you would have contacted me since we're buddies, you know, before you uploaded that. <laughs> and you made a great point when you said, hey, hey, Smash JT and D Dave, they didn't get any contacts. Just think about this. Consider this for a second. This was premeditated, all right? John did like the critical satire uploads from Smash JT and UD Dave. Didn't like it, okay? Did he stop by your channels? Did he think to himself, did he think maybe, maybe I should, before I actually do this, touch base with Smash JT, touch base with D Dave, tell them how I feel about things, tell them how I feel about their critical uploads, Maybe tell you and Smash JT that you two were off base. He didn't do that shit. No, maliciously, he launched his copy strikes. Maliciously, without even contacting both of you. So it's pretty fucking rich. It's pretty fucking rich that this same guy, he's all, he's all uh, pissed off at Rich because he didn't contact him before dropping that upload. As if it, they're equivalent, okay? As if uploading a critical satire type upload, like Rich did, even though, like I said, I mean, you know, I could give him pointers on how to do that. Even though uploading uploading that, there's no there's no equivalency, all right? So John is actually trying to uh, have the equivalency too there. Um, so maybe a little bit of self awareness there, John. Maybe a little bit of self awareness, huh? Possibly. So there it is, D-Dave. My response to your Review Tech USA says give John Hancock another chance video. I'm going to be working shortly on the response to what would Metal Jesus Rocks do video of yours.